Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here and today it's all about the letters because you'll have a hand of letter cards that you're trying to get rid of. But you'll have to think quick because you'll be trying to come up with an answer using one of your letter cards for different types of categories like drinks. And if you're first, then you've gotten rid of one of your cards. Be the first to get rid of all of them to win. T-Bomb is for two to eight players, plays in 15 to 30 minutes for ages 10 and up and published by Top Games. It's on Kickstarter right now, so I'm gonna show you how the game works and I'll see you on the other side. This is a Kickstarter preview, so all of the art and components you see here are prototype. You're going to want to check the Kickstarter link in the description of this video to see all the final art and components. In T-Bomb, you're trying to be the first to run out of your cards. There's two types of cards in the game. There are category cards and there's letter cards. Now each player is going to receive a certain amount of letter cards depending on the amount of players. In this case, we have seven cards here of these different letters. Now normally these cards are going to be in your hand, secret from other players, but I've placed them down on the table to make it a little easier to explain the game to you. So let's pretend you have this hand of cards. You're trying to get rid of all of these cards. Now what happens is a category card will be flipped over. And most of the time it's going to be a category like this. It'll say country. Now remember, these cards are typically in your hand. They're never on the table, but I've got them here just to show you. So we're trying to come up with a country that starts with one of the letters that's in our hands. So we may be thinking, you know, uh, Pakistan or Indonesia or Italy, uh, or things like that, or Tanzania. And you're not necessarily trying to come up with the best answer. You're just trying to come up with the quickest answer that actually fits this category. So maybe right away we, we say Italy and we, we discard it and we say Italy. Uh, we put it in a discard pile of the letter pile. The first person to do that has successfully gotten rid of their card. Sometimes it might be close, and whoever has done it first put the card there and uh, mentioned, uh, in this case, a country that started with the letter of the card they put down would successfully get rid of one of their cards. Then you'd simply flip another one, another one of these. And again, now we have less cards. We're trying to get rid of them. Now, this is a very basic example uh, because all of my cards are pretty plain. However, I've now replaced my cards with some ones that have some different icons on them. So let's say country came up and I want to use my Y and I said Yemen is a country. And if I'm the first player to do that, this plus means all other players must draw a letter card from the letter deck, meaning they have more cards now and I actually have less. But let's say instead I want to use this O. There's actually only one country that started with O. It's called Oman. It's a uh, country in the southwestern part of Asia. But this one has this icon. It has two cards on it and a person. And if you were successfully the first person to answer correctly, uh, you would then select one person and that player draws two cards from here. Now this card has two things about it. An exclamation is a wild. You can use it for anything. So I could use it for an I, for example, instead said Italy. It also has a time marker. Now, there's other cards that can have time markers too, like Y's sometimes have them. And when this happens, any player except the one that just played the letter card can start the timer. And whoever starts it has this much time to come up with an answer from one of their cards. Uh, if they do it, that's successful. If not, they draw a card. Now let's go back to this O. Oh, let's say I said Oman, and people didn't think that was a correct answer. They can vote on it, and if the majority says it's not you know, an accurate answer, or it doesn't fit the category, then you just simply draw a new category and this player gets his card back. Now there's another rule where you can only use a specific word once the entire game. So if I said Italy earlier for a country, it couldn't be used again for some other reason for some other category. Now sometimes there's not a category on some of these. There's other things like a time bomb. When this happens, a new card is played and we see the new category animal but then the timer is started then the player that played the last card will start and they have to you know do the same thing come up with an animal with one of their cards place it here and it goes around a clockwise manner and when this runs out whoever it's in front of has to draw two cards uh, letter cards and whoever's to the, the the player just before where it ran out has to draw one card so that shakes up the game quite a bit now sometimes when you're trying to get a new category, you'll come up with a card that says Duel. Now the player that had played the last letter card gets to challenge any one other player. Then a new category and a new letter is revealed simultaneously, and the two players that are dueling are trying to be the first one to come up with a, you know, a word that starts this letter with the new category. In this case, maybe it's rhubarb is a fruit or vegetable that starts with R. Now the one that loses has to draw two letter cards into their hand. So you continue doing this until let's say this was my last card, it was a dish and I said ramen and I'm out. 
I would win the game. Now, there's three different ways of playing this. You could play a quick play, which is just playing one round, and if you finish, you're the one that wins the game. Or you could play party play. You play three rounds, and at the end of each round, you count how many cards are in your hand, and each card counts as a point. So, for example, if someone went out and we have these three cards, it's three points. You're trying to have the least amount of points after three rounds are played to win the game. Or you could play Last Man Standing, which is you play multiple rounds. At the end of each round, you get a point for each card, in this case three. And once you get to 10, you're eliminated and the last person standing wins. And here's a look at many of the other category types that you'll find in the game. Well, there you have T-Bomb, and as I showed in the overview, it's a simple, fast-paced family card game that keeps you thinking. Now, if you'd like to see all the final art and components and all the different pledge levels available, you can click the link below me in the description of this video, and that will take you directly to the Kickstarter project page, and I'm sure that Top Games would love your support.